Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Emmanuel Ngeung. I'm speaking to you from uh, from Yaoundé in Cameroon, and I'm going to I'm going to talk to you about uh, Octra, which is a transcription tool for the Bavarian archive for speech uh, signals, supported by Clarin. So actually, um, Octra is a tool which I'm currently using, or I, I should say, we are using within the framework of uh, a, a speech synthesis project with the Institute of Phonetics and Speech Processing at the University of Munich and uh, under, under, under the supervision of, of Clarin or uh, with support from Clarin Eric. So what I wish to highlight in this talk is the benefits of uh, collaboration, especially between uh, uh, us here in the South and people in the West, because most of the solutions, most of the tools that we are looking for here uh, may already be available. What we just need is to take hold of them, maybe try to adjust them, adapt them to our, our needs. But most of the time, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. And collaboration is a means of um, maybe um, trying to um, uh, bring down the cost of building new tools. So very briefly, I'm going to, what I was aiming to do if we had a, an in-person presentation was to show a demo, but now that I'm, I have to present on um, in um, lightning talk mode, I'm just going to give you some of uh, the key functionalities of the tool. And of course, you have a, a full manual of the tool, which is inbuilt, and everybody can access it online. So here there is the link uh, to the tool. It is freely available. Everyone can access it and use it. And Octra runs uh, on a web browser, unlike uh, many browsers. And actually, I've been, I mean, unlike many tools, and actually, I've been using uh, Elan, which is also a tool for language, um, for transcription and which is very popular among language documentaries around the world. And I've been involved in language documentation for quite a number of years. So I've been using, for a, a, I, I had used Elan for a long time before I discovered uh, Octra. So unlike most of these tools, Octra runs on a web browser and does not require installation, updates and plugins. Uh, all these things can sometimes be discouraging for people who are not uh, perhaps very um, very familiar with technologies. For the moment, uh, Octra is better supported by uh, Chrome and uh, Mozilla Firefox. Uh, I hope uh, it may be supported by many browsers in the future. As in, as with many other tools, it, it generates time-aligned orthographic and phonetic transcriptions, which are saved automatically in the browser and can be recovered at any time. So you don't need to be um, uh, um, saving the recording, I mean the transcription all the time, and you don't uh, run the risk of losing the transcription if for some reason maybe um, the, the program uh, crashes or whatever. So there are two modes uh, that you, you can work on in Octra. You have the local mode, and the online mode. I would briefly talk about the local mode. So the local mode runs um, on a drag and drop option. So you just have to uh, drag a file, an audio file from your computer and drop it into the interface. And uh, the, the file will be displayed uh, in, uh, on the interface. So another option, but then uh, the next time you come, of course, you'll still need to drag and drop because the, the browser does not save the file but simply recognizes it uh, the next time you come. So it will update it to the last annotation uh, frame where you end it. And also have the online mode. The benefits of the online mode is that the file is saved uh, on the server and you can access it uh, anywhere. And this is what I was aiming to do if I had come to Michigan to show that uh, a recording made in Cameroon can be um, archived online and accessed in Michigan and be transcribed there, provided you have access to uh, the internet. So here is the transcription interface, which uh, offers a very wide window that displays um, a very significantly 
uh, long uh, sun signal with a loss, according to me, for better uh, appreciation of how you can uh, delineate your, uh, your um, annotation frames, uh, which, which is not always the case with other transcription uh, tools. So what, what, what I find really, really attractive, really interesting with Octra is its intuitive uh, and interactive uh, interface through multiple shortcuts. So you can create a boundary between uh, two annotation segments only by clicking, uh, pointing to uh, the, um, you know, the frame and, and hitting S. And you can do the same thing if you want to delete. So you have the list of these shortcuts. We, I don't have time to uh, detail all of them. So if you, can, uh, you can review the, the manual and all of these. Shortcuts are described very accurately. So perhaps uh, one of uh, the limitations of this tool is it's a single annotation tier compared to Elan, which has the possibility of aggregating many transcription tier, for example, the translation, uh, trans phonetic transcription tier, the translation tier, word for word, uh, break, breaking tier, and maybe the glossing tier. So you don't have this option, but as I will show in perhaps the last uh, slide, there are export options uh, in Octra, whereby you can export a transcription file uh, into an Elan file, and then later on, maybe use it to expand uh, notation tiers. So uh, yes, I think this the, um, uh, limitation is, is um, we can live with it. So here is an example of a time align. So you can see that um, we can manage several transcriptions and it also offers uh, easy uh, delimitation possibilities. Uh, uh, the experience I have with Elan is that for you to be able to transcribe one minute, it takes average one hour. Uh, this time is reduced, uh, yes, okay, uh, thank you. <laughs> so there are many other um, views, like the overview, uh, view, there's an in-bit manual, the export options which I've mentioned, and I wish to acknowledge um, a collaboration between uh, Christoph Draxler, Professor Francesca de Jong, and of course, uh, the organization of the Global Digital Humanities Symposium as uh, MSU. Thank you.